Hello everyone, welcome back to North of the Fray. My name is Tanya and I'm so glad you decided to join me for today's discussion. Today I'd like to talk about a vital aspect of our Christian walk, and that is how do we extend kindness to ourselves? It's important to clarify that it isn't about self-indulgence or arrogance. It's actually about nurturing our well-being through humility and grace. By embracing this form of self-kindness, we respect our limits and meet our needs with the same compassion we strive to offer others, ensuring that we are equipped to serve others more effectively. If you're interested in how a balanced, God-centered approach to self-care can transform your life and service, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insightful discussions from this channel. So, what exactly does self-kindness mean? Well, true kindness to oneself is rooted in humility, not in selfishness. And Mark chapter 12, verse 31 instructs us to love your neighbor as yourself. This scripture emphasizes that self-love is essential and foundational to our faith. This type of self-care involves respecting and caring for our God-given life, which in turn enables us to extend compassion to others with wisdom and a healthier mindset. Recognizing and addressing our physical, emotional, and spiritual needs without judgment allows us to maintain our health and resilience. When we are well cared for, we can give back more energetically, truly embodying the command to love others as we love ourselves. Therefore, prioritizing our well-being allows us to be clearer vessels for God's work, avoiding burnout and maintaining spiritual vitality. It's about making wise choices that reflect a stewardship of the body and mind God has entrusted to us, rather than a pursuit of personal glory or comfort. Setting boundaries, practicing rest, and engaging in prayer are acts of obedience to God's design for a balanced life. This humble approach to self-kindness ensures that our actions are not driven by pride, but by a desire to be fully equipped and available for God's purpose. It encourages us to be gentle with ourselves acknowledging our human frailty while striving for God's strength to be manifested in our weakness. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick discussion here on North of the Fray. I encourage you to reflect on how you can apply humble self-kindness in your daily life and how it might enhance your ability to love and serve those around you. Please share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Your insight could offer great encouragement to myself and others. And until next time, let's continue to grow in grace, caring for ourselves as dearly as we care for others. God bless you all and take good care of yourselves. Goodbye.